Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've recently been working on this 1998 Toyota Tacoma Rebuilder, as you see behind me, and it's previously been in a really bad wreck, and we've already actually repaired a ton of damage on it, including a bent frame, and you can actually go check out that video we did on our channel before. And we actually had to stop working on this truck a while ago because we were trying to find a new diff since the diff was actually completely bent from the accident. So we finally found a new diff and that's right here. The problem is though, this diff is an open diff and the one that came with our truck is actually a limited slip. So it's a little different and a little more special, I think, right? Yeah, with a limited slip, that means that the traction goes to both tires as much as possible. So mm -hmm. it's really good for traction and snow and mud and like mm -hmm. off-roading. Yeah, if we ever go off-roading in this thing. So we kind of want to keep the internals from this one. And since all we need is the actual housing, since the housing in that one is bent, we're hoping to keep the housing and just swap out the main carrier, which is right here. And it's basically just bolted on. So we can just pop that out, pop the axles out and just slide the limited slip carrier into this housing. And then uh, we'll have a good diff that's limited slip again. We were also didn't really know what's damaged on that one. So since it wasn't an accident, the brakes we can just swap out if we need to, any seals or any axles that are bent, we can also just swap into the other one. So that's what our plan is. So I think we're just gonna start by sliding those axles out. We have to drain the oil and uh, then we can see what we're working with. So let's get to it. All right guys, we just did a ton of work taking apart this diff here and now it's completely stripped apart. You can see the open differential carrier right there. Basically, it's now just an empty shell ready for parts to be put back on it. And uh, we even took out the original diff out of the truck and you can really see how bent it is now. It is a complete banana. So yeah, that's definitely <laughs> not a good diff. But yeah, basically the only good thing on this diff is this main carrier here and that main contains all our limited slip gearing that we're gonna be stealing off of this thing. And there's one more thing too. If, we, if you notice, the brakes on this thing are brand new. All oh, the yeah. hardware, like somebody had just replaced all their back brakes here. 
Yeah, still got the colorful springs on them and everything. Yeah. So yeah, we're definitely going to be stealing those probably off of it too. Because you saw how garbage those old ones were. They were really rusty. So yeah, that's that's really good for this. So basically, now we're just going to take apart the rest of this bad diff and start putting the parts back into the good diff. So let's get to it. guys we just finished taking all the stuff out of the bad diff and put it into the good diff housing here and uh, we just mocked up the parts real quick none of them's bolted in we just mocked it up to see uh, if it's a limited slip like we thought and it turns out it's an open diff so uh, <laughs> that's kind of weird definitely not the diff we thought it was and this is out of the original housing so basically we have a couple theories of why we got a little uh, messed up with thinking it was a limited slip, right? Yeah, the only thing that I can think of is that this housing, if you remember how bent it is, that it must have been creating some tension in the actual diff carrier so that it wasn't acting like a normal diff. Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know, a lot of uh, tension in there. And uh, oh yeah, and we also know that these um, axles here, at least this one, was completely seized up. Oh yeah, the bearing, the bearing is shot. Yeah. yeah, so it's just creating a ton of tension. And yeah, it's weird how they were both spinning at the same time. We even showed it on that one video of them actually both turning. So it's really weird. Honestly, we had no idea. There's no way we could have known it wasn't actually a limited slip. So, but whatever, it, it's not even that much of a waste of time because even though we could have put the diff in right away, we didn't know, of course. And it's a good learning experience because honestly, Neither me or my dad have ever dug this deep into a diff, right? Yeah, so. that's a, this is the first time for me too to have a diff that fully open and mm -hmm. uh, it, it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was fun for me to see it all happen and yeah, it was pretty cool even though we kind of got bamboozled on it. <laughs> and, and we end up with brand new brakes on here anyway, so oh, yeah. that, that's that a good, good thing. So the next step is putting this thing back together properly. We even got new seals for these axle ends because that's actually what's recommended when you take these apart. Then we're just gonna slap this thing back together and put on the new brakes, well, the good brakes that were off of the old truck. And uh, it'll be a good diff again, nice and straight. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, we just slapped this diff together for good. And we even put new seals in it. We even had a silicone by main member there. And we even put the new, basically new brakes off that old diff in there, which is awesome. That means this diff is ready to go in this truck for good. We even bought new hardware like this U-bolt here. So once that's in there, this truck is gonna be a good drivable truck again. It's gonna be finally driving straight because it's got a straight diff, which is a big accomplishment. And that's actually gonna be in the next video because we gotta end this video here. So subscribe and stay notified for the next video. And I'll see you guys then. See ya.